What's up, guys? Shigu here, and today I'm back in another um, Roblox video tutorial. And today I'm going to be just very quickly going over how to do the um, incremental kit that I recently uploaded. And I'll be explaining how to use it in depth very quickly, as quick as possible. I'm going to go over upgrades, reset layers, and basically just how it works in general and how to use it. First off, first thing you have to do is you have to get it. First link in the description. Let's go get it. It's on Roblox. If you already have it, great. When you're in studio, when you're in your game of choice, you want to locate the toolbox. Open it up. Let's ignore these, sorry. Ignore that. You're going to want to go to your models, which are right here. If you don't see it, go to the drop down, click my models. If it's not there, probably didn't do it right. Let's try it again. You're going to want to find incremental kit V. It's going to say 1.1 for you guys because I have the old one. Don't get this one. It doesn't work. Use the new one. You're going to want to put it in the game by clicking it. I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. It's going to say there's scripts, or it's probably going to say there's scripts in, the, in it. If you want, you can look. I promise you it's safe. Um, So just hit yes. Anyway, let's get into how to use it. First thing you want to do, or second thing, I guess, is you're going to look at game settings in home as well. Go to security and turn these two guys on. This allows you to access the data store and the features inside the game. And if you have a testing server, this will be even better for it. So turn those on, hit save. The other ones don't matter. You can turn them on too. I don't really care. Anyway, you're going to go to view, open explorer, properties, and output. Output so that you can see if there's errors, which we see here. But ignore that. That was previous testing. Properties lets you see, as it says properties, explorer lets you see all the stuff in the game. So once you get it, it should say ungroup control U. Do that. If you want, you can right click it and hit ungroup. Did not mean to do that. If you want, you can right click it and you can hit ungroup. Awesome. Simple. You're going to see this first off how to use. It's just a overview. Here's my Discord. If you want, DM me about anything, any questions. It explains how to do it. There's instructions inside of it. We're going to go through all of them, if not more in depth than what they already are. But you should check it out anyway. Especially the socials down here. But anyway. So. You can ignore that. Don't delete it. If you want, you can. It doesn't run. It doesn't do anything. But anyway. You're going to see these folders here. You can open them all up. Let's open them up one at a time. And it says put in replicated storage. Now, put the components in replicated storage. Or in their respective place. Not the folder. It won't work. So just select them. And move them into their respective place. Do the same for every single folder. See here we got server script service. Here we got starter GUI. As you can see, it's coming together. Here we got client, which goes in starter players. And put this in the workspace, which I don't know. It's already in there, but you have to take it out of the folder. Once you're done, just select the four, select the five folders and delete them. They're not needed. All right. First things first, upgrades. Probably the most annoying to deal with but there i made it so simple there's no way you can mess up unless you don't follow you have to follow exactly how i do it in some cases or it's not going to work there are other ways if you think you can figure them out by all means be my guest but if you're new to scripting you should probably do it this way so i have a reset layer that i provided here it's called rebirths let's just add upgrades to it to add a completely new upgrade board you're going to want to control d which is duplicate one of the current ones which i chose cash Move it over and call it rebirths or rebirth. If you want to spice up the UI a little bit, go ahead. Just make sure that um, you're doing it properly. It's in proper order and the names are the same. If you do change anything, change it in the code too. It will tell you where you need to change the name. If you really need help and you really want to change stuff, ask me. I'll be more than happy to help you. In any case, um, Let's do this. So it already comes with an upgrade. That's cool. You're going to open it up. Go all the way into upgrades. Not those. I clicked everything but the upgrades. Here's your first upgrade. This is upgrade frame. Cash boost. You know what? Sure, let's keep it. But let's add another one just so you guys know how to do it. Just control D it. And then name it whatever you want. Let's name it rebirth boost. I'm not going to keep it because it's going to get too confusing. And it's going to be annoying to deal with two extra upgrades. So let's just keep one 
But all it is is you're adding more, just add more upgrades inside. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So cool. This isn't going to work though. It doesn't work. It's not that simple. Locate the modules folder. You can search this in the Explorer too. It doesn't matter. Find upgrades. Open it up. There's all this information here. I'm, I apologize. There's already stuff here, but whatever. Delete that. You can see all this stuff here. But you don't see what we just added. So all you have to do is since we added a new board, you just copy this template here, the whole thing, paste it underneath the current one. If there's no red lines, you're fine. Currency, rebirth. <coughs> Sorry. Upgrade name, uh, cash boost. Let's make the starting cost one. One rebirth. Let's, it, that doesn't matter. We're going to call it cash boost, boost cash game. These three are cosmetic. They don't affect the code. This just displays plus, X, or power. You can display that next to it if you want. It doesn't matter. All the logic is here. So, in the case you add more, this is how you'd add other ones. You simply copy the upgrade name, not the whole thing, and add it below it. And let's call it Cash Boost 2. We're not going to do that because it's too confusing, it's annoying, and whatever. You get the idea. We're dealing with one for now. So now this should work, but no. We still have to do one more thing, technically two, <clears throat> to make it work. The next thing you have to do is you're going to have to go to the data store. Simple. Search values or value and open it. As you can see, it's already here. Well, let's retype it. You can see that there's a comment that says cash upgrades. Let's just copy this whole thing for ease and call it rebirth upgrades. And all you have to do is change the name to the currency type, which in this case is rebirth, and then the name of the upgrade, which is cash boost, which we already have here, so that's great. And you're done. So now once you play test, <clears throat> sorry, it should work. Um, unfortunately, I can't actually, <laughs> I can't actually um buy it yet. One sec, I, I'm not going to drop that. But if you were to buy this, it would work, I can assure you. I'll do it in a second. So the next thing we're going to have to do is, well, we have to add it to the multiplier script. So search multipliers. It's also in modules. Probably saw it before. Like that. Like that. <clears throat> and some of this stuff will already be in here for you guys. So there may be things I'm adding that are already there. If not, that's great. But I'm just showing you how it works from scratch. In any case, let's say we wanted to add our rebirth cash boost and we wanted it to be multiplied by like a thousand. So go locate boost here and just simply type in 1000. So this is going to boost by 1000 cash per. It's going to get very, it's going to get exponential. So all you have to do, copy one of these current lines, make sure you're in the right one. This says cash multi for multiplying cash, but it's not this because this isn't right. It's the upgrade name, Rebirth, and then the frame name, Cash Boost. Already done. Perfect. As you can see, it's kind of just repetitive. You'll be able to do this in like five seconds once you learn how to do it. Um, I don't know why this should be at the top. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Anyway, so that's pretty much um, what's it called. That's it for upgrades. So let's play here. We don't have any yet, so let's give ourselves a rebirth. How do you do that? Simple. Click this button right here, which is next to the play feature. Current client, now you're in the server. Fly around. Best of all, you can edit your data. Search rebirth, and this transfers and this saves. Just Let's just type 10. And look at that. I have 10 rebirths, and if we, we're going to make a side UI in a second, but boom, done. And as you can see, it goes up. There's our cash going up. We can rebirth. And look at that. Amazing. And we can buy max. If it lets me. Oh, I don't have enough. Never mind. Over here, we have our currency purchase. It's There's not really much you need to do. Once you buy it, it gives it to you. See? 2.6k. You have to change the IDs to make your own, or you can keep them. Either way, it's going to work. Uh, that's in the products module right here. 
as you can see. Cool. So next up and finally is the reset layers. Let's say we want to add a prestige reset layer. Let's put him right here. Actually, let's move you. Not trying to make this look nice. So what you're going to want to do is keep this script open. <clears throat> locate the value script. Uh, not the value script, sorry. Locate the reset layer script, which is here. And as you can see, it's already here. We're going to do it again. Simple. Copy this one. But let's copy the template because we don't get the comments. Reset. Prestige. Stat cost. What stat is this going to require? Rebirth. You may want it to cost cash. It doesn't matter. Reset. Rebirth. And below. For prestige. Cost. Let's make it one since we have that already. We should, don't have to make it like that. And reset stats. Cash. Rebirth. And we can just delete this one. This is also going to reset the upgrades too. I should probably say that. Anyway. All you have to do now is change the name of the board to Prestige. Which is what we called our thing already. If you want, you can change the icon, but we're not going to do that. And then look, go back to the values. And this is important. Make sure you add prestige in, into here. And oh, give a comma. If something breaks, make sure there's a comma at the end sometimes. Make sure you add total prestige. Because you need the total one. And let's do this. We're not gonna make a rebirth um side UI if you're gonna load. There we go. We're not going to make a rebirth, but we are going to make a prestige side UI, so I can show you how that works. So, go to inf interface, currency UI, and duplicate any. Let's just say diamond. Drag it down. And name it. Prestige. Go into it. We're going to change the color just for this sake. Normally, I wouldn't, but we're going to do it anyway. Go to the gradients folder in replicate storage. I gave you guys a bunch of gradients here. And some stack gradients. Let's say we want this guy to be nail. Sure. Cool. Play. And you're like, oh wait, it's not there. Something must be wrong. Um, but the way that it works is if you don't have it unlocked, you don't see it. So now that if we prestige, there it is. We now have one prestige. So that is it. There is one more thing, though, that you need to do for a reset layer. Head to the multipliers module. Copy like something like, uh, copy the template. Change the name to anything. It's called a rebirth multiplier. And then all you have to do in between is type multi times equal or plus equal or power equal, whichever one you want. We're going to do times equal. And then anything. It could be anything. So, this would be data. I'm sorry about that. So, this could be anything you want. Let's just do data dot um, stats dot rebirths, rebirth dot back. Or prestige. Or not. not well, yeah. Yeah, so the prestige will multiply rebirth, and that will multiply them together. Whenever you add a reset layer, you have to do this. Not this part. You just have to make a multiplier for it. Otherwise, it won't work. Hopefully, this video was helpful. If it was, leave a review on the video, or you can leave a review on the thing itself. Again, everything's in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.